So, 12 ohms, 4 ohms. Ayan. So, kunin natin yung equivalent yan. Obviously, okay, ito, itong 4, ihihilain mo banda dito. So, 4 parallel siya kay 12. Tapos, yung 12, series siya kay 1. Okay, nakuha. Ganyan siya. Okay, 4. Ayan. Kunin mo tong equivalent na tong dalawa. Tapos, series kay 1. Tama? So, 4, 12, 1. Kapag kinuha mo yung equivalent nito, okay, 4 parallel kay 12, okay, and then series kay 1. Okay, nasundan. And siya. 4 parallel kay 12, and then series kay 1. So, ito yung terminal natin, AB. So, kunin natin yung RTH. Ibang kulay. So, 4 RTH is equal to, so RTH is equal to 4 times 12, 4 plus 12 plus 1. So RTH is equal to 4 ohms. Ayan. So yan na yung ating RTH. Next, nahanapin natin B4 VTH. So, kunin natin ulit yung circuit. The drawing tayo. Wala tayong choice but to redraw the circuit again. So, mas malinaw yung ano no. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Medyo lakihan natin. Okay. Ang kinukuha natin, open circuit voltage. Ito. Positive, negative, VTH. From that terminal. Tatanggalin mo to. Diba? Sabi ko, VTH is the open circuit voltage from that terminal. Kailangan natin makuha yan. So, lalagay mo uli yung ating mga ayan, positive, negative, 32 volts. Okay, kinakakot pang ilagyan na ganito. 1, 2. Tapos, Nandun pa rin si 4 ohms. 12. Tapos meron tayong current source. 2 ampere. Then 1 ohm. Resistor. Ayan. Okay, first step. You think of first step, turn off the sources and hanapin yung RTH from the terminal. Then, second step for VTH, balik uli sa original circuit, but, okay, kunin yung VTH, ito yung kukunin mo. From that terminal, open circuit voltage. So, um, you can use any other, uh, you can use all, okay, either dun sa mga network churams na alam nyo. So, pwede tayong mag-mesh dito, or pwede rin naman tayong, let's say this is I sub 1, and then this is I sub 2. Pwede mag-KVL. Try natin, no? Pwede kasi tayong mag-nodal dito. Madali, li madali lang ding mag-nodal. Okay, pwede tayong mag-nodal dito. Okay? Pwede din namang mag-mesh tayo. Okay, try natin. Mesh muna. Okay, analysis. Ano muna yung VTH? Take note, kung open circuit dito, okay, kulang dadaan na current kay 1 ampere. Ay, 1 ohm resistor. Open circuit, eh. Naalala nyo yung ano, property ng open circuit and short circuit. Kapag open circuit dito, walang current na dadaan kay 1 ohm resistor. Okay? Kaya yung voltage drop dito ay 0. Okay? Wala. Okay? So, ngayon, ano yung open circuit voltage equivalent? So, equivalent siya dun sa, okay, titignan mo ngayon yung kaparalel niya sa 12 ohm resistor. Kasi pwede mong i, ano yun eh, pagpalitan ng pwesto. Equivalent ngayon, si VTH dun kay... Uh, 12 ohm resistor, okay, multiplied by doon sa current na dadaan sa kanya. So, let's say yung current na dadaan sa kanya ay I sub 3. Okay. I sub 3. Okay, I sub 3. But I sub 3, so kung tutuntunin natin, so I, I 1, okay, oh, sige, I is ko lang. Tutuin natin. I1. Palabas. I. Tama ba? I2. So, I3. 
Ngayon, I1 is equal to I3 plus I2. So, I3 is equal to I1 minus I2. Okay, from node A tayo, ha? Ayan, o sige, ulitin ko. Yung I3 natin is from node A, kung mag-ano uh, tayo dyan, mag-gagawa tayong equation ng KCL, I1 entering positive minus I3 leaving minus I2 equals 0. If we want to get I3, okay, I3 kailangan natin. Lipat sa kabila, so matitira I1 minus I2. So, I1 minus I2. Ayan. So, VTH is the 12 ohm resistor multiplied by the current that will pass through it, which is I1 minus I2. Okay. Paano natin makukuha? Yung I1 at saka I2, mag-KBL na lang tayo. Pwede naman. Or mag-mesh. Okay. So, let's say this is equation 1. So, look. Um, at loop 1. Ayan. Ano yung loop 1 natin? Negative 32. Oh, yeah. Negative 32 plus, okay, negative 32 plus 4, 4 plus 12, diba? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, I, 1. Or pwede rin palang mesh na lang, no? O oh, sige, uh, wala, para walang cut, 4, I sub 1. Okay, plus 12, ano yung dadaan na current K12? I1 minus I2. Okay, that is equal to 0. But, okay, ito naman yung I2. But I sub 2 is equal to, kasi sa, hindi na tayo mag-loop 2. Yung I sub 2 kasi, meron tayong current source dito sa side na to. So, I sub 2 is opposite sila ng direction, that is negative 2 ampere. So, substitute natin. 2, 3. Okay, to equation 2. Substitute natin siya. Makukuha natin yung I1. We have I1. We have I2. Makukuha natin yung open circuit voltage. Okay, wait lang. Ito yun, no? Medyo, anahin natin. E. O, oh, yan. Okay, given pa rin yung circuit natin. Okay, eto ha. Kapapiyan ko lang. So, negative 32. tayo. Negative 32 okay, plus 4i1 plus 12 i1 minus i2 equals 0. Tapos, since i sub 2 is equal to negative 2 ampere, substitute natin. Um, negative 32 plus 4i1 plus 12 Okay, let's say i1 to Okay, minus 12 times I2 kasi distribute ko na. Negative 2 equals 0. Okay, so now we will evaluate negative 32 plus 4I1 plus, okay, this is 16. I sub 1, so negative negative, so that is positive 24 equals 0. And then 16I1, so transpose sa kabila magiging positive. Ito naman sa kabila magiging negative. So, 16I1 is equal to 32 minus 24, that is 8. So, I1 is equal to 8 over 16. So, this is 1 half. Tama? Or, that is equivalent to 0 0.5 ampere. Okay, since... Uh -huh, dito ko na nalalagay. Since VTH is actually the voltage trap across the 12 ohm resistor, resistor so, this is I1 minus I, I1 minus I2. Yung nakuha natin kanina na formula. I don't know. VTH is 12 I1 minus I2. Okay. So, VTH, what is I1? 0.5 minus I2 is negative, negative 2. Tama? So, 
negative 2 so positive VTH is 12 times 2.5 so that is 30 ganyan natin 12 times 2.5 okay 30 volts tama 30 volts ayan kailangan natin to oops yung RTH natin kanina yung RTH natin kanina RTH 4 ayan 4 ohms okay so we will draw now our equivalent oh tabinin equivalent circuit so ito siya letter C lagay mo tabinin hello C tabinin equivalent circuit ayan drawing natin So, ito yung RL natin. Nagagay tayo yung RTH. Ayan. So, meron tayong positive, negative VTH, which is 30 volts. Tapos, meron tayo dito RTH, which is equivalent to 4 ohms. Tapos, meron tayo, pwede natin kulay dito. Ito yung unknown natin. Mitsura. Oops, oops. Ito yung RL. This is a variable resistor. So, tatlo. RL is can be 16, uh, 6 and 36 ohms. Now, nahanap yung current IL. So, yung IL natin, hindi yung dadaan na current kay RL. Okay, para din makukuha yan. IL is actually... Okay, yung VTH natin, tama, ohms lo lang, over the R equivalent. But R equivalent is RTH plus RL. So, for A, if RL is equivalent to 6 ohms, we have VTH. VTH is equal to, what is VTH? I, I mean, uh, we have VTH. So, I sub L is, okay, if RL is 6, so that is 30 volts over RTH 4 plus 6 ohms. So, calculator 30 over 10, 3. And here. It's 30 over 10. So, for B, if RL is 16 ohms, ganun din. Bagbabago lang yung ating value ng 30 over 16, 17. 20, 30 over, so 3 halves, 30 over 20, 3 over 2 ampere, or IL is 1.5 ampere. And then C, if RL is 36 ohms, so I sub L, 30 volts, over 4 plus 36, 40, 30 over 40. 30 over 40 is 3 fourth or 3 over 4 ampere or that is 0 0.75 ampere. So this are our answer for problem 1. 1, 2, okay, good. Okay, 